Hey y'all, just wanted to put together a little better explanation on uh, these Kappa's components and just how they work. You know, perhaps the last post may have been a little confusing. Again, I'm not trying to get too detailed into it, but for those that aren't familiar with the Kappa and uh, its function, I just thought I'd put something out there that explains how it works a little bit. Um, so we have component speakers, and then we have two-way, three-way speakers, uh, four-way, five-way, get into six by nine sometimes for some, you know, those oddball brands. Um, so component is, if you're not familiar, is everything is separate. So we have our woofer, we have our mid, and then we have our tweet. So all three components, you know, equals a three-way, uh, but component means uh, separate uh, versus, uh, you know, a two-way, let's say. Um, you know, and that means it's built in. So one speaker, two-way, tweet, woofer. So um, sometimes you'll get uh, a mid and a, you know, a three-way with a tweeter. So um, just a little explanation on that for those who may not know. Um, so again, our component woofer, um, in this case, six and a half, uh, Infinity Kappa. Uh, this is in a box that'll actually be down firing in the cargo area. Uh, there'll be four of these total in this build. Um, and we'll have our, you know, incoming from our amp to our crossover, which, you know, one will go to the woofer. Uh, the other set goes to our tweeter. And then optionally, you can purchase the mid. And so what's nice on the Kappa is, of course, they have the switch if you're using the mid or not. Okay, so yes, no. Um, and then the plug goes in there. And that's here. And then I'll run over to our second crossover now that comes with the mid when you purchase that kit. And so that's in, signal in, and then out to our speaker. So, so then we have our three-way component uh, speaker system there. Um, again, in this build, we'll have... Uh, you know, two left, two right in the cargo area. Um, there's other uh, vids explaining where some more of these are. This is more just about an explanation of the Kappas. So um, we'll stick to that. Um, here we have a monster. Um, this is not exactly what's used here. Um, quick lock, same thing. They spin off like so. Uh, but you stick your wire in and almost just pinch it. Uh, you know, crimp it. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, glad I had a package later on because all these have been unpackaged. So a reference uh, to uh, similar, uh, whereas these have the set screw. Um, so much preferred, again, my personal preference. Um, and you can just stick them in. Um, really nice, um, clean look, clean finish. Um, one thing that's going to have to be um, resolved on these though is uh, you know these mount from internally uh, the mounting holes oops and so whereas these want you to you know come down through so I don't like the, uh, you know, one or the other uh, choice to have them uh, different. Um, so, you know, we'll probably uh, have a couple holes in here. And, oh my goodness. Sorry if that was noisy. Up better together. 
So, what was this cord? So we'll probably mount all from internally. Um, these are actually quite large, so um, you know they're not going on the doors or anything. I'm actually thinking up in the uh, headliner area. Um, now we have a most of our headliner as non-existent as we have a big uh, dual panel, uh, you know, panoramic roof up there, uh, sunroof. We'll probably end up putting a couple holes uh, in here as well. You know, similar to this cap, um, they'll just be dummy screws, um, but they'll accent that copper. And we'll do the same thing here. Um, you know, copper bolts are expensive, man. Co copper itself, um, and honestly, it's just even hard to find it. Um, you know, I, I can find copper rod if I do want. If I had a lathe and could turn my own screws, but I can't. Uh, so, um, another feature is if you add uh, the mids is you can control your uh, I suppose you know it's plus minus three on the uh, you know DB so uh, in your uh, uh, high range so uh, if it's a little too pitchy you can tone it down um, that's on each one so it's kind of those I just wanted to show a little bit more of, of the function of them and, uh, you know, how they uh, all come together. Um, you know, with the four of these and the four six by nines in the front and rear doors. And so this is the crossover that came with the uh, three inch mid range. Uh, these are the sets that came with. They all get this, um, but this is what came with, uh, you know, uh, this came with the uh, two inch mid. This came with the uh, three inch mid. Um, interesting is it's, you know, two wire there, but uh, coming out is a three wire harness. Um, these are only two, and again, another thing that's just, uh, it's gonna have to be fixed. You know, these are only two here, so um, these obviously will not plug into uh, those. So whether we make new harnesses, um, I, they, number one, they need to match. So um, we will be making new harnesses, and I just don't need a three. Um, yeah, it looks like they put out two positives and a, you know, a negative and. You know, which is just interesting because this is a very, you know, I'd say this is probably a 14 gauge, uh, probably, you know, 22 at best here. Um, and this goes to a two inch uh, mid, which is rated at 65 watts. This is going to a three inch mid with two positives rated at 55 watts. You know, I don't make this stuff. Uh, I use it, of course. So, uh, engineers at Infinity, what's what's going on here? Um, you know, again, I said previously in a post that you know this is probably a different years uh, model, but um, you know why we'd have a you know more positive for a less wattage and thicker gauge for less wattage is beyond me. So, that's where I'm asking what's going on. Uh, so we'll leave this one at that. Um, really just wanted to explain uh, how the Kappa uh, component system uh, works together. And uh, yeah, appreciate you checking it out.